G'day guys, it's Paul from Polyman Astro, and welcome to a new video, and in fact a new segment, which I'm calling 5 Minute Fridays, where I take one process, or one script, and in 5 minutes or less, show you how I might use it, and therefore give you an idea how you might want to use it. In this first video, I'm going to talk about star removal. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to use, or how I use, Starnet 2. Now the way I tend to use them is after an initial small stretch, I isolate out the stars, and then I can do some more work on the nebulosity. I might stretch it more, or try and uh, work on boosting the contrast in a specific part of the nebula so it really pops, and then I can very easily uh, create range masks and all sorts of different masks to isolate out that nebulosity without worrying about stars, and I can do some sharpening, some contrast enhancement, uh, things like that. And then at the end I can put the stars back in. So I can go from an image that maybe looks like this to this. Uh, and in fact the image in the background behind me right now uh, of Gabriella Mistril was done exactly that way. A small stretch, stars taken out, did some work on further contrast enhancement and sharpening, and then put the stars back in. Let's dive in. Okay, so here we are inside PixInsight. I'm going to be working on this HOO image uh, of NGC 1968 and the Cosmic Reef. Now I've already done all my linear work and put the image into a, a HOO image, so attach the, the hydrogen and the oxygen, um, and then done a small basic stretch. So I am going to use Starnet 2 today, but Star Exterminator works exactly the same. So we go up to Process, all processes, Starnet 2. And it looks just like this. Okay, and there's a few different options. You can choose different strides. I just leave it on default. You can choose to create a star mask. And what that means is it'll create a starless image and the stars so that you've got them both and you can put them back together at the end. So that's exactly what I want. There's an option to do a two times up sample, which is basically like a drizzle, essentially. Um, it upscales the image before removing the stars and then puts them back. That's quite useful if, if you do have quite small stars and you're having trouble removing those small stars. Uh, but obviously that's going to take more time, so I'm not going to use that here. Uh, and if you are working on linear data before you stretch it, then you can tick the linear option. That would be useful if you were doing deconvolution and you didn't want to worry about ringing around the stars and so on. Um, if you've ever used the easy easy decon, that, that's pretty much how it works. Uh, but today I'm just going to work on my image and I'm going to create a starless image and the star mask. So I just click on this square button here to apply and then it'll run through. Okay, so here is my starless image and my stars. Uh, perfectly isolated, so I can close Starnet now. And what I can do, as I said, from this point, would be do some further work on the starless image without having to worry about blowing out the stars. I could even reduce the stars without worrying about um, causing issues to the main image here. That's it done. Thanks for watching.